this is uh i mean i'm so concerned for zeta here that they have to start strong here like they have to start strong on the defense we've got to see something you've got to show us that there is something in the tank for you here zeta because i'm telling you now paper x look sharp they look deadly and already sugar zero first fight he actually holds on for now Keeps his life and gets to maybe move away. Crow9 meets him with a grin oh, and it's going for Hey, this ain't bad as a start. You have to temper the pace that Paper X are going to bring Player in. Standing. And a surrounded side. Spike Zeta. Kind of just. Turn every element of this on its head. Paper X leaving just Benkai here. I'm a little taken aback by this because it was quick and Zeta looked prepared. But again, this is only round one. Benkai oh. crests the corner. Benkai's down and Sugar Zero to find it, and it's flawless. Absolutely, I mean, the best possible start for them here. So, yeah, actually, if this trend of Zeta getting aggressive active. towards A lobby, that's got to be, it's always the crunch point here of Haven, especially in the early round. It's just Mind Freak here. I mean, unfortunately, losing out on anything catches the headshot there. Sugar Zero closes it out. Again, spread a little thinner than maybe you'd expect here in the pistol round from Paper X, but no real immediate point of contact found. saying just put that in the venue and i'll be happy um my happiness aside i've been looking for that for years um we are looking for those opening picks if anyone's going to be punished right it's is anyone going to overstep are they going to get a little ahead of themselves and a, and a massive rotation i do hope that zeta don't hit over rotations on this you know that anxiousness to, de to, de to deliver to find you know the, the right place to be and you can get really punished on that but for now it looks poised it looks like the right place the a side zeta are going to have four players here Three for real contact and one sitting on those back lines. We see the Paper X are trying to close the gap. Now, this isn't a complete buyback in. It's certainly no force from Paper X, but it's got a little bit of something to it. And they are sitting in dirty off angles. Going to be cautious of long, which is going to be kept in check. And for now, it's mostly effective. Divine, the only one to find March back. And it's a shutdown. Dev doing really well. There it is. Comfy stuff for Zeta and very well positioned. So, and I think you make a key point about rotations. It's always a talking point on Haven in particular. I mean, this, uh, statistically, you look at it, and it's, they have a 17% success ratio in retakes here on Haven. So it's like they have to almost just prevent this from getting to the point where Haperx are able to find these plants. Actually, on the flip side of that, Haperx have a 90% post-plant conversion rate. So, oh, so let's just not get the spike down if you're on a third map. Exactly. And this is why we, do, we talk about these, these, these early points of contact here, particularly for Day Lobby. These engagements are so key in terms of data finding. Look success. at this pressure. Defense. It's a three-play stack along. I think they've heard you. I think they know exactly what the script says. Ten going to find Forsaken. They can't quite recover the weapon for now. That would have been a lovely little boon to add to the treasure trove but Jing's gonna re-establish control try and take this fight and he loses depth what, what? how dare he, uh, how dare he do Ooh. this zeta are you serious right now benkai on a swivel tries to do what he can but outgunned and overwhelmed it's mind freak cam's not looking good for this round if i'm honest but hopefully <laughs> he's gonna be all right in a 1v3 but the spike is deep in enemy territory mind freak going for a walk <laughs> Lo and behold, it's a judge to the side. So that could be a couple of box shots to the brain. It is. Laz, good for it. That's three for Zeta. And this is what, I, look, the doctor's been ordering a lot. Those prescriptions have been coming out real quick. But it, it, it's essential because we look at map one, and I think a lot of us would say, right, best chance for Zeta. Map two's not good. So they need a good start. No, it's, it's they almost have to do the unthinkable here. They're like, everything, logic leads you towards Paper X here on Haven. This is a massive start for them to convert this round three as well and build a little bit of momentum, get themselves back in the driving seat. They know it. The fans know it, yeah. we know it, yeah. that this is exactly what was necessary. And it can't stop though. I'm not gonna sit here and say you can let off the gas. You have to keep greeting them with the same style of force because paper X are always deadly. It's a powder keg just waiting for that match, that yeah. spark to be put to it. For now, they're fine. It's gonna be a Shiko. I haven't said that much this time. No, we haven't, that's no. yeah. There haven't been many. Another half of this one too. Well, G2 <laughs> are out, so. Oh. The Shiko percentage immediately drops. <laughs> it's a very sheer fall off of it. And it looks like a bit of a patient pinch. But again, right place, three players could be posted on the side of the map. Right. A little bit of danger on the trade out here as Forsaken has done well. But again, right place, right time, right numbers. And Zeta again hold another round. It was costly, but at this point, you take them. Absolutely. And I mean, Laz actually, one of the points we were talking about how quick the. 
I mean, previously, Lick, we were able to run away with it. Laz was literally hunted down. Yes, he was. He was completely kept out of the game. I mean, the number of times, yes, he died first. It was, it was something ridiculous, like four first deaths or something on the defensive part. I mean, again, the game didn't last that long on Haven anyway, but immediately nice, 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 nice. the pressure came nice. through. So to have him <laughs> to a, nice. have a, him off to a good start already, 6-0 and here on the verge of a lockdown as well, is a big positive for Zeta. Can you do it? Zeta keep need to, they, they need to be proactive on the defensive side constantly, and they're doing it. This is such a... You live and die by this sword, right? It, it, it is such a hard game to keep doing, but they're trying it. They've walked mid. They've dry walked mid with one kind of waiting to support through by Garage. First contact found. Depp with a beheading going to take down Benkai. Needs to keep his life and get out of there. He has done. And Ten's going to opt to back away as well. So they fall away with the early player advantage and they slip into a deeper hold. Let's operate through investment here. You can see if Forsaken can make it work. One off the Blade Storm as well. Potential here to double down. Forced away with that initial flash here, and are they? Re I wonder if they regress. I'm curious, man. They're oh, don't do it. You're fine. It's fine. You're, you're, you're all right. And it looks maybe like the plan for now is to then lean back forward to say sight. And I'm looking. I'm looking if they're going to match this, right? If that rotation comes in correct from like depth, for example, if they're able to hit this, he needs to get there fast. That wasn't clean enough for Laz. He still stands the king of hearts himself. Has to deal with so much pressure on his side, but he's kept his life, which is imperative. He's held so much of this one-for-one -one trade's good, but Mind Freak going to break back in. Left. The criminal in the night just going to steal away a frag, but it is oh still God. a player advantage for Zeta. This fight going to go down. Can't be denied just yet. No pressure off the back. Player Tell again. a lie. There it is. Ten dives in. And it's a swing. And it's a miss. Defy is down. And Patience turns to Paper wearing awfully thin here for Paper X. It's going to be five for Zeta. Beautifully done. And again, it all starts on being proactive, finding that first blood, weakening the side of Paper X. How are they doing this? This is this my... My heart's no, sorry, in my mouth, really man. they the previous performances here on Haven. Paper X, I, 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 for a good game, for the sake of it, I want to see Paper X hit a timeout, which I think they've just done, and re-establish control here, because they've come in with the most hyper-proactive lineup, agent selector, I think they could have imagined. See, so, you know, as soon as Reyna comes out, I'm like, okay, they want snowbally, they want fast, they want, you know, everything that suits Paper X. They need to be halted now. They need to be stopped now, because we all know that that is what is behind Zeta. A nation is behind this team just Egging for results and 5 0 is sending a message. Absolutely. Now, this time out to really see what the adjustment from Paper X is. Yeah. Come into this with the Blade Storm, haven't really seen Jin come online and in, in his mouth, but we haven't really seen an opportunity for it. And Zeta are dialing back when necessary. To kind of mitigate a lot of that risk in the early round here. I think I want to kind of echo that with what you said, especially with that mid push. They ran down with two, got that first blood, and they instantly come back. Yeah. On the money, absolutely on the money. Again, that's something that actually we saw on Ice Boss. I was criticizing Laz actually a couple of times, overstaying his welcome. When the You're TP right. is available, you, you just can't bank on stacking up and playing trades versus Paper X. Yeah. So it's like there's another three or four people <laughs> behind that, that yeah. first engagement. We've got a weird buy coming out as well. Jing and Devi, I think. See if anyone else goes for it. I mean, Forsaken can get the ult going. Um, I guess just really. Yeah, Devi is the one that, that stands out here. I mean, yeah. the Rainy, you can pretty much just. It's all right. Why not, right? There's always a chance. And early intention shown towards A long. Now, commitment seems actually like it's coming through. So, again, you've got a bit of a switch up of the setup, though. And Laz playing a little deeper this time. And as to why, you've now seen. Very preemptive here again, just wanting to prevent them getting onto site and finding it. But actually, for a second, going so deep, he's going to find Sugar Zero. He's not stopping either. He's going to power on forward. Benkai has to respect Whoa. it, and there's no respect from Forsaken. Detaining Benkai for now, but it's going to be Jing to re engage. They have to buy a little bit of time here, try and re aggress towards the site, and they can't be caught in between. They have to commit, and Depp's going to do just that. Dives down, notes two. The flash comes in, but the shot from the side. Benkai uncaged, unchained, and Crow! Only so much to be done, and it is a bloodbath. Crow goes down swinging. But again, Forsaken, just how willing he is to go deep. It's just insane. I mean, at that point, it's like, yeah, even if he he, he just gets traded out, he's done the damage there. Because the, the, the plan from the get-go for Zeta, the preemptive lockdown comes in. They want to just make sure that they can't find any sort of position to play site from. Yeah. Okay, it's the first strike on the board. Paper X. 
here. Get it started. A couple of rifles here and there, but you're right, it was Forsaken just being the one to really engage, to push, to pressure, to go beyond outside the realms of reality. Now, the purchase is still just fine for Zeta in my mind. I think they're okay going forward. And a quick bit of presence noted now towards Garage, and that's not just one rifle. The first time I've really seen any pressure towards Garage in the early round from Paper X. Trailblazer in response here. Zeta are playing now back towards spawn. Just anticipating that I'm going to follow through on this, but nothing as of yet from Paper X. And Zeta actually feels as if they got a read on this. I'm going to send four towards A site here. That's a little preemptive. Maybe a stab in the dark and hope there. at best. So yeah, actually pinging out. So noting the alarm bot on B here. That's a ten on the side of it. Possibly to, yeah, I was going to say, just mm. waiting to flash on contact. But ops not to. I've got but we'll note trail. that there's no push through on the B site itself. Well, this, this looks like it's wrong place. Seekers. They paint a big picture here. Uh, and I don't think Laz can do much about no. this. It, just playing his life is the best he can achieve, because Paper X have found the perfect tempo to come back in with this now. Found a completely free C site. They pulled that rotation. I was worried about the over rotation. I don't think that was the problem. It was kind of a gamble stack, really. That read towards A, which didn't quite find what they wanted. Quick pop flash. Devi is waiting for this. It's all a matter of timing, but he's not alone. Jing's by his side. And that's a whole lot of victims waiting on the other side, Laz. Yes. Huge denial. Keeps control of at least the numbers for now, and the retake begins. Back in through CT, they go Forsaken still on the side, looks towards Garage. Laz again doubles down on delivery. Catch it off Divide. Divide goes up, and Forsaken still stands. The man, the beast, is tamed, is quelled this time. And it's Benkai, Mind Freak. Anything left in the tank? Mind Freak thinks so. Benkai as well. Benkai, he's still doing what he can, but it does not matter. Depp is there, and Zeta hold again. And you know, the, the denial on Jing there. Okay, there's no reason to try and hop up into window to pressure any further. With the ultimate popped as well. I think you notice as well, Devi sat outside garage. Yeah, a perfect opportunity to completely close off. Things fall apart. For Paper X here, and I, I gotta say, that's after getting a free sight. The Seekers, like I said, they paint a huge picture. Yeah. Everything headed towards eight. They know that it's maximum one on that side of the map. Yeah, this is literally against the odds sort of stuff we're seeing here. They're, they're clearly. Now, Ten's going to get a, a lot of information. Yeah, yeah, huge. And there is still that swing coming in from Sewer, but it has been now dealt with. Depp's going to pull back a little, tries to find maybe that next position with that operator. Seek's going to come in. Counter. Perfect from Depp. Once more, but Vision gets removed. Jing looking to maybe close that gap, but Depp still stands. He's trying to do anything he can, but Jing is there. Ten's gone. Crow, quick adjustment. He notes it. Depp, how is he alive right now? He's surrounded. There's enemies everywhere. A desperate shot goes astray. His paper X exactly hold the numbers this time. Three in this. Spike going down, and this is where Plum's the big really begin for Zeta. Sugar Zero and Laz on the retake here. Only really divide tagged up being under 64 HP, and I think Zeta are considering holding on to what they've got, but just checking actually for the lurk here. They're, they're, they're still going to go for this. He crushed on the way of this Laz. It's the reveal. He's found one. The trade is not there. Sugar Zero! He sprays! And he actually gets the job done. Zeta are pulling off retakes now against Paper X. Again, the unthinkable. Sugar Zero, the smoke criminal, just creates a little pocket of safety to get back onto site. And they absolutely punish with it. I can't believe what we're seeing. This is, you know, normally statistics to me, I think, are absolutely useless. Throw them out the window. It doesn't tell you what the game's like. But we came into this with such concise, clear vision on their performance thus far. And Zeta, again, where are they getting this step from? Where are they finding this? I was questioning last map, have they finally run out of steam? But a 7 1 lead here on Haven. Yeah. It goes here. And the money for Paper X is absolutely garbage. It, there's, there's nothing to it. This this could be 8 1. When, we, when I said split was coming up, maybe. I really, you know, call me a doubter. I think we most of us were. But how many times have we had our minds changed? It's, st it's it's early enough that it could be changed, though. Keep that in mind. The Paper X can still maybe get a grip on this, but just the way they play, the way they are characterized, it feels like they have been found out. It feels like they've left their diary on the bedside table, and Zeta's had a good old read of it. Now, they're sitting deep this round. They're allowing a little bit of exploration to happen. Now, B has been taken over, and as is Garage, and that's a bit of a problem for me, because now that's harder to work back in on. 
looking for some ad state. Pepperex going to follow through towards B site here. Ten actually going to find one. Forsaken will respond. Now got to post up a 10. He finds another one. How is 10 doing the steps there as well? Spike They're trying to just see. move out of there for now. Sugar Zero going to relinquish a little bit of that control. Temper that aggression. They want none of it. The unrelenting aggression has been dampened. And look at this deep. He's got spot. this cross. He's got this. He's absolutely got it, at least for one that notes the player. They know where Forsaken left. is. This man is capable of incredible things. So 1v3. He has to. He has to get that first pick. If he can get one of these picks, it's game on. Okay, I think he's been seen. He's going to opt for 10. Well, maybe not. Sugar Zero going to keep the attention drawn towards CT, but he hasn't been able to play out of this just yet. The flash didn't find him. It's a little bit of where he could be. Sugar Zero, the timing's Time. perfect. Zeta playing as a pack animal here, moving as one. It's going to be eight on the board, a resounding scoreline for this side. And I think everyone has just become a bit of a believer that this is going to be a map three game. I'm back on board. That's yeah, for sure. You sold me. <laughs> yep. It doesn't take much for us. I'm not going to lie. No. Simple, simple creatures, us. But this is the thing, like, the, the biggest criticism, right, is what's the depth of Paper X, right? And right here, we're not seeing them find any value. No. From the I mean, they're not even able to create any chaos here. Zeta look completely unfazed here on the defense. And look at that, three rounds back to back where actually the biggest gap in Zeta's performance completely righted. Similar scenes, double stack on long. This time, double face on long. 10! Just breaks his wrist to snap to Mind Freak. Depp still posted, and Depp still doing damage. Divine now, last one alive, and it's in the early rounds. It's in the first 30 seconds of the round. These guys just don't care. They're playing out of their minds. Depp, where have they found this? Where has this come from? I mean, I'm also, I was making the criticism that actually Zeta were very flat. That's the exact way you have to describe this attack here from Paper X. There's not much to it, is there? I mean, How does 10 get two? That's a great question. <laughs> They're feeling themselves, you can see it. They're brimming in confidence. They've come back out of this after a map one loss that was pretty dismal. I think that's fair to say. If we've all watched Zeta, we're not, you know, completely off our minds on the Hopium. It wasn't a good map one. But to pick yourself up off the floor and come back like this is something to be revered. And maybe a mistake here from Depp. He's going to be... He's still standing. He's still alive. But how is he still alive? There we go. Dealt with Divai. Puts him in his grave. And now down to four. It looks like they could just try and bully their way to the side. Paper Rex unafraid. You can see Forsaken having to lead the charge. But again, a second of time purchased. And now the lockdown comes in. They've been sent back again. Benkai now noted as well. Oh, parting gift. Nice. Forsaken still going to grab one. Always good for it in a quick rotation, maybe, but you're still going to have two players leaning on this side. The alarm bot and sewers as well, but already the rotation comes through here. Sugar Zero will be called upon. And again, he's going to try and play around these smokes. Try and tuck himself into hell. Laz as well. Laz is on an island here, man. Surely not. Yeah, done. Dealt with. Lacerated Jing's going to find him. Sugar Zero, the smoke criminal himself, can't find the timing this time. Device stands, holds his ground, and Crow lost to fall. Paper X, quick rotation, a lot of dedication on that C site, and a little bit of a slip, I'd say, from depth, but it really wasn't the be all and end all. It just kind of got caught in no man's land, in my mind. No, I mean, you'd almost expect with the way this is going, if Paper X can squeeze out a couple of rounds, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it's almost. Am I? I've I think you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Liquid have left, okay? You don't need to be doing this. Wait, where's, the, where's the curse copium? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you even say it? How dare you speak its name? We have a double operator now going out for Zeta. Where has this look come from? Another great question that we're just probably not going to get an answer to because it's been missing this entire tournament. Well, it's fantastic though because where this has now slowed down a little bit here in Paper X are forced to consider all avenues. I think actually Sugar Zero is spotted. Seemingly aware of his position here before they can happy to just go on through. They've got the sight. In my mind, they've got the sight unless last does what? that. He snaps them back to reality, puts them out of it. Device gone. Crow still on the back lines. They've held the site again, but the breakthrough on B is the critical part of this. Benkai has found a bit of room. He can maybe cause them to dismantle this C hold that they had, and now they've got options. Spike still to hand, which is so critical for Mind Freak right now. They have an eternity to wait for both smokes to come back as well. Paranoia available. 
<laughs> Look at Zeta. Look at where they're playing right now. They're in they're spawn. Just, they're just waiting. Forcing <laughs> the hand of Paper X. They're letting them sweat. But again, it's a post plant and it's Paper X. I can't underestimate them. They're still good at it. Now they've heard the utility. They'll know what's coming. And they're sitting so deep. They want 30 seconds left. Paranoia burnt on the way in as well. Sugar Zero with the Cosmic Divide for this retake could make it very, very interesting. Spike planted. Oh, and what can Zeta achieve on the way back in as well? We get a no, no aggression coming through to spawn. Paper X, they, they need this opening kill here. Depth still with the Blade Storm as well. And away we go, it's quick. Mind Freak can be drawn oh, towards looking standing. towards Jet, and this can be Depth still standing. Benkai overwhelmed and outdone. Zeta. I cannot believe the scenes we have just witnessed. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. And again, just another example of Zeta being able to step up to the plate and adjust from a previous performance here. Last man, even finding two there in that scenario, just completely unreasonable. Nice! 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 <laughs> Game is back alive now, 10 to 2, Paper X. I don't think they've been given this problem before. This equation has never really been presented to them in this manner because this is almost unquantifiable, but the desk is going to give it their best shot. Pansy and Hypoc, thank you so much. Man, Zeta. You know what? They're feeling that energy from that watch party, so they're <laughs> clapping back because they hear those clappers. Jess, I want to talk to you about round eight really quickly, though, because sure. you looked me right in the eyes. She kind of scared me a little bit. She was like, <laughs> Jackie, yeah, seven. And I was like, okay, okay. Lucky number seven. Guess what seven means? Seven rounds is the total amount of rounds Zeta has put on the board this entire tournament, the two times they've played this map. Overall, they've put seven. Now, not only in one singular half have they well outdone that, but they've put themselves on the road for success for a third map. Yeah, and I think Depp was really feeling himself throughout the Ooh, beginning yeah. and end of that. You can see how he's moving with the op. He's oh, jump kicking every single angle. And even in that last round, you saw him actually uh, smoke dash into it and updraft. <laughs> really messed up the whole thing for Benkai, who was holding for his teammate. Yeah, Depth the Duelist, leading the team in kills there. Okay, Bala, Zeta was up 5-0. I mean, they, they absolutely smashed squash there. But I do want to talk about Paper Rex calling that timeout. Um, yeah. Break that down for me a little bit more. They get the next round by buying two rifles. Yeah, it was ridiculous. They go for a super fast push, and Zeta does the right thing. He actually last puts down a lockdown really, really early in yep. that. But Forsaken continues to push. It's and that's unreal. the type of thing that I think Paper X is relying on, on that half at least. And a reason why they didn't do so hot was because there's a lot of team play available when you're not taking space early and executing from so far. Spoken about win conditions here for Paper X. Setting the pace, setting the tempo. How fast can you go? Fast and furious. And Zeta says, we suck at this map usually. How about, <laughs> how about we look at what you're doing and just counter that and they've done it beautifully. And I think also one thing is their improvement from map oh. to map. Throughout the tournament, it's showing up again. Yes, all right, well, we're gonna hand it back to Pansy and Hypoc. Cannot wait to see the second half of this map. Take it away. You and me both, Jackie, you and me both. But this might be one where you blink and you miss it. We're sat at 10 to two. We have to really bring it back in the room here. Uh, we really do. Uh, and the question being is, uh, I mean, they got smacked so hard in the first half is what's Paper X's approach here? See, initially, no aggression shown on their side. They're going to sit. Just wait to greet the hit of Zeta and actually stacked up as four through garage. Find himself safe passage, actually. Nothing noted with the Trailblazer, I don't think. Mind committing on this? Oh, he is. That's quite bold, actually, to try and slip across towards the back of sight, sit towards platform, and he's... At least allowed Forsaken in now. They're going to try and find a little bit of a mid-fight almost on the round here. Contact made and HP being chipped away at. Melted down. But you can see the crunch coming as well. Jing trying to make a play back around. But Crow turns it. Finds Jing. And now look at the HP that remains. Yes, Laz took a fair beating, as did Depp. But Devai, Forsaken, similar scenes. That's so key, though. Are they double pumping? Uh, Benkai actually got spotted on the cross there. So they're going to go back towards C. Oh, this is huge. It wasn't even intended to double pump. It's just off the off the cuff. Mind Freak, you're in danger, buddy. Yeah, there's no escape. Depp's got your number. A quick dip from Forsaken, though. Finds 10. And now Devai tries to work back through. Has to clear Garage. Tip top on the list. And now two. Spike is down. One flash. 
One more in 10 seconds, and look how close they are. They are waiting for that reveal, Crow. He's got one. He's got three this round. And what a way to begin of the second half here. Between Zeta and Paper X, they convert the pistol. So, so I mean, Paper X, yeah, forced to obviously invest back in here. You got to. See what they can muster together or scrape together. Again, just the time. Again, how the hell is Jing there? He's got to that position in a perfect spot to backstab, but Crow with all that freedom in mid, I think actually as well, that's just a little further afield towards Dumbledore's, yeah. but Jing not able to find anything initially on that first, so there's no real conversion to that success early on. But they can't stop. It has to be consistent. It has to be the whole way through. I think if you show even just a little bit of vulnerability, Paper X will find moments to strike. So again, you've got to stay on this level, which is so hard. Here. Just centimeters away. The whole way through of this game is just... The smoke comes through for him, though. That's good. Okay. Gonna fall away from this. It does look like it's leaning towards Seastore. Keep your mind towards that spike. Still in the hands of Crow. And nobody actually here to play off this... this trap, either. Confirm it, but again, safe passage. Look at the late look. Laz lingers. Still going to do well to find Devi, but it's going to be forsaken. So we just kept busy, keeping him locked into this. Is such a nuisance. Benkai though wants in to try and maybe alleviate some of that pressure. Free up his teammate, Laz. That's a good trade. He'll be happy with that. Again, you're going to be taking that every day of the week. Spots him out. Shoot zero. Going to dip back to a deeper hold. I don't know if they know two of the players are here yet, but they might have a good idea of it. As Shug Zero has to move forward, sprays and prays. He gets one, not the second, as Benkai presented the undesirable job of finding three players that are giving you nothing. Flash, smoke, it's all committed. And 12 is beckoning. Depp gets it. It's 12 to 2 now. I mean, I'm just so impressed. So impressed with how they've been able to completely stamp out Paper X here on Haven. And, I mean, almost <laughs> completely improbable at this point now. Going to come back in with a very similar purchase here. It's a bit of a scramble for both sides, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, again, Zeta, just, I mean, Baller kind of echoed my sentiments from the first half. The, the adjustment has looked fantastic here. Yes. And no risks taken whatsoever. They're not even entertaining what we know Paper X are going to try and achieve, which is this deep A lobby control. Mm -hmm. They go for it here. There's nobody even posts up. Laz in the previous round has just oh, gifted aggress. kills for it. I do want to see if they get any success off this long presence. Again, we did see Forsaken dabble in that before, so surely it's at least somewhere in their mind. But defensive side rotations come in as well to try and mirror the space they've taken, but putting a lot of faith in the likes of Mind Freak here to be able to keep control and do something with this, but they've drawn a great deal of attention. There's a lot of players around this corner. So you're actually looking to re-aggress towards this. Fault line set up for it as well. Gauging, stunned, unable to do much, to just try and play his life, dealt with Crow. Quickly puts him out of this. Mind Freak overwhelmed, overrun. And the A-side is looking vulnerable, but it has been a bloody battle. They've lost Laz on the way, but they still have four standing and a flank coming in as well. Benkai is going to be behind them, but it's only a stinger. Again, they hit the brakes. The they hit the brakes. They're actually expecting that next layer of aggression, which is not necessarily wrong. And actually, I mean, with Benkai posted up here, I'm not... I'm surprised yeah, I was gonna that say, they why, fell off this. Why, why Forsaken was pulling away from A-side? Are they paranoid of mid? Maybe the timing window would have been so slight. Curious reading out there for Walk back into the unknown. Caught in no man's land. There's so much threat now. Sight is going to be Zetas. And there's still a man watching the flank. Forsaken has been found. 14 seconds now. Sugar Zero still posted here, waiting for Benkai just to walk around. He's got one. A Divai falls. Zetas' heart is the deadliest.